To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright with me Yeah, you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright You're the real estate expert If you find a good deal People are gonna wanna lend on it, alright? And if you've got the right attitude And you know what you're talking about People are gonna wanna lend you money, okay? <laughs> So I go around all the time, I talk to all these people, and I collect business cards off of everybody, and I create lists. So when I go home at the end of the day, after meeting Julian at the gym, I'm going to write down, Julian, I met him at the gym, he likes to invest in South Philly, He's, he, he said this, he said that, and I write these things down, I use Gmail for my contact list, and I keep track of all that stuff, okay? And then, say I find a property that maybe I want to sell, and he, Julian told me to invest in South Philly. I just go in my list and I search South Philly, and there's Julian, and I know, and I call him up, and that's one way I can move properties if I was doing a wholesale deal, for example. Same thing with your private investors. You have to rack them, pack them, and stack them. Keep track of all that data, okay? <laughs> and you've got to have those people. Keep in touch with them, and you've got to have those people available to call. When you find a great deal, you might only have a couple of weeks to raise the money for it. So that's one of the ways I do it. Okay? You gotta have credibility for yourself as well. You can't be somebody who just started real estate investing three months ago. That makes it a little tougher. You gotta build credibility for yourself. There's lots of ways to do that. Like going to seminars like this. Like learning as much as you can. Reading books like my book. Doing everything you can to learn about this business. Pack your brain with so much information. You'll get to a point where you figured it out. And it won't take you that long. Okay? Here's something I always tell people. I say, what's a smack yourself in the forehead? Doink. You know, single greatest resource for private lenders. Okay? It's right here. Okay? It's right here in your cell phone. Not my cell phone. Your cell phone. Right? Most of the time, the people who are going to lend you money, people who already know you. Okay? People already know you, and they like you, and they trust you. That's a real good start. Okay? You need those things before somebody's going to lend you money. And what I tell people is, get on the phone and start calling, going through your, your cell phone. And go through it slowly. And look for people. And you're not looking for millionaires. You're just looking for people who are looking for a good opportunity, a better opportunity to make money. It's something that they understand. Everybody understands lending money on a house. Everybody understands it. They all live in a house, hopefully. Okay? And they understand the concept of, of getting a loan from a bank and being the bank. It's not that complicated. It's simple. Explain it to them how you're going to secure their money with a first position note in mortgage. I teach people how to do that. If you don't know how to do it, it's easy. All right? You get some contracts, you fill them out, it's a piece of cake. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's the way I do it. Okay? I've got to keep moving because I've got a lot of stuff I want to teach you here. So the other part of it is if you're, going to, if you're going to be raising money, no matter which way you're going to do it, you've got to find good deals. Okay? So you have to have strong deals, the kind of deals that people are going to want to be involved in. If you've just got the same kind of a deal that every realtor has on the MLS, well, it's going to be tough to raise some money for it. Okay? But if you've got something special that people are interested in, you know, you've got to know what makes it special, and you've got to get people excited about it. And uh, the way I do that is by, you know, once I find a tremendous deal, then I go around and I contact all my private lenders, and I raise the money for it. So this is a big part of it. My, if you ask me what I really do, all day long in this business, it's I'm looking for money and I'm looking for deals. Sometimes I got too many deals and not enough money. Sometimes I got too much money and not enough deals. They're both equally difficult problems. Because when you find somebody who wants to lend you money, they want to start getting an interest rate right away on it. And you've got to have a good deal to put it in or you're going to lose that money, okay? And that happens all the time, right? So this is a big part of what I do, you know, as a full-time real estate investor. I, I consider myself like... Uh, a deal engineer, if you think about it. I'm looking for deals, and then I'm looking for the pieces of the puzzle to put that deal together. I, uh, I have a bunch of forms that I use that I, uh, I help people with. I sell these forms. If, you're, if you get to know me better, we can talk about this some other time. We don't have time today. This is something I use called the private money placement generator. When I'm ready to borrow money off of somebody, I just don't pick up the phone and tell them about it. I send them a map of the property. I send them the MLS sheet. I send them a Q&A form where all the questions that I know they're going to ask me about, I've already got all those questions answered on this form. I send them something that gives them all the comps, okay, so that they know I've done my homework. All right? I send them this document where I basically tell the story about the property. Every property's got a story. 
Why am I buying this property? Why do I want to own this property? Am I going to be proud to own this property 10 years from now? What kind of money is it going to make? You know, all those details. How much is it going to cost to fix up? You've got to have your act together. People aren't going to lend you money if you don't sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay? So having some of these forms, I sell these forms for like $297. I give you everything you need to raise private money. And it can be really helpful for you because it makes you look like a professional. You put together the story, you put some photographs here of, of this particular property is a beach property. And, you know, I show people how close it is to the beach and all this stuff. That's why I'm going to be able to use this as a vacation rental and make lots of money from it. Here's a different property that I recently bought down in Florida. I was That's just a down nice there. Property, though. Thank That's you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I was just down there the other day. So, you know, raising private money, it's not, it's not brain surgery, okay? It's mostly having a great attitude about it, knowing what you're doing, uh, being prepared and talking to everybody and finding people who are interested in lending, okay? And then making a deal, all right? So that's one of the three pillars, is using private money. I want to keep going because you got to know the other two and then we're going to talk about how I do it.